Welcome to today's today. We're today we're jumping into the fall of the House of Usher. This is episode seven. Oh my god. I thought I was done with this show. <laughs> I, I literally thought I was done with this show. And I was like, wait, I feel I was l laying in bed. And for some odd reason, I started thinking about this show. And I was like, how did this show even end? And then I got up out of my bed, came up on over here, and realized I got to episode six, and I have two more episodes to go to let me know how this show ends. I honestly was like, how did this show end? I don't remember it. I was laying in bed the whole time. And nobody let me know that I did not finish it. But thank you guys. You guys understand how busy I am. You guys are amazing. Kisses upon kisses. Um, but let's jump into this. Let's finally wrap up the show. I promise you, I wrote a note to myself in my brain, because I don't write notes, um, that we will be finishing the last two episodes of this amazing show. So I'm ready to jump into this. This episode, I hope we're going to get the guy who is slowly destroying his wife's life because he thinks his wife slept with his brother, Perry, I think his brother's name was, but wife didn't. But, I mean, intentions possibly were there. Um, so now he's tormenting her. Now, all the other kids are dead. We only have this guy, and he seems to be a complete psychopath. So, shout out to him and him losing his fucking mind. Now, I'm ready to jump into this. If you'd like to see this in a full reaction, of course you can. But it's second and third tier here on this platform that I promise you will copyright all my sh as well as my other platform, Patreon. So please, please, please sign up to one of those platforms today to be able to see this in a full reaction. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the fall of the House of Usher and find out exactly what this show has got to give. Oh, uh, this is how somebody else is gonna die. Key. It's an agreement between the patients, the providers, the, the Freddy, Siren. And is this your signature? No, it's not. How about this one? Likely reason to forge a signature on the CFC form. To make it look like the patient knew the risks. Jesus, Freddy! Let's take a time out, yeah? Mercy. And he's making noise. Can you take care of him? Kids make noise, Roderick. I support what you're doing. I really do, but... What about after? Give us Orange Ford unless he points and says, I didn't sign that. Mm. Can't blow the whistle without a whistleblower. I wish it were otherwise. He'll be fired. It's done. We can count on your help. Of course. I mean, it's I not just... I like your word. I like her. I've always liked her. She's a voice of reason. You boys give him help. You're a lucky man. He is. Yeah. Yeah, she puts up with a lot. So does he. Got good people at home who love us. Anyway, let's not let them down. Do you recognize this form? Yes, that is a consent for care form. Malfunction with me back then to make me trust you. And I figured it out. It was her. If she trusted you, fucking fool to lose her way you did. Sustained me a bit. Knowing you lost her. A wind blew out of a cloud, chilling. My beautiful Annabelle. You're the fucking wind chicks. Do you ever get tired of hearing yourself talk? Can't imagine how she hung on so long, frankly. Annabelle, we, Usher. They won't make good, Usher. And you chased her away. My granddaughter, Lenore. The best of us. All the best of Annabelle Lee without... Without the broken heart. Uh, I'm glad you liked Annabelle. But she's gone. I said I never wondered... How the, the fuck, fuck did this, this happen? happen? What about the launch? You were in the fucking room. We had ten people at the launch. And not one of them could stop this woman from leaving the building? Not one single person lifted a finger when she went home and... Felt her go apart like cold steel. Fuck! Stop it! Stop! Stop it! Shut up! The board's making its move. There's gonna be a vote. We've got blackmail material strangled in the crib. Oh, it's out of the crib. It's starting college. Freddy is the swing boat. Where are you? Sealed his key to the plane. I'm a realist and I agree he is compromised. But he is a great man. He could take this company out of pills, out of poison, into tech. You tell them that if I'm in the chair, I take this company into the future. The whole rotten legacy goes out with Roderick and we rebrand as a tech company. And I imagine this isn't easy for you. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to say out loud. 
Oh, psychopath! Hey. You are you are in a lot of things. Girl, run! Ready? You must be feeling it a bit. <laughs> Just stop. That's horrible. I heard Tamerlane killed herself with a fireplace poker, and I swear to God, I can't figure out what that means. I mean, how do you, how do you even do that? I knew I wanted to marry you the first time we met. Do you remember? You smiled, and it was so real. Standing there alone, and you thought, that looks like a guy who could use a friend. The smile stole my heart. Do you know what the headline was that morning? When I took my board seat from my predecessor? From ruthless to toothless. Is that how you see me? Y yeah, now? Okay. I'll be back when I can. Maybe we'll talk then. Where did you put your wedding ring? It wasn't on your hand. I saw footage from the party. Fucking phone. But no ring. Where did you put the ring, Maury? Don't make excuses. I am working well, on apparently it. not. The building is still standing. It matters because I have to count on you. It's a fucking crime scene with our family's name all over it. I can't count on you for the little things, which means I can't count on you for the big things. And I have to count on you, Freddy. I have to. You're it. You see, you're the fucking swing vote. The board's swinging. <laughs> they haven't called you yet. So I need to count on you. And when they call, and they will call, Frederick Usher, I'm the repository of the hopes and dreams of a fucking empire, so take your treacherous bullshit elsewhere. For the symptoms you're describing, your husband would probably say upping the dose would smooth you over. 2,000 milligrams of oligodone a day? The second highest dosage I've ever heard of is... 1,300. I know you work for Fortunato, and I know. But you're still my doctor. Do you have kids? Yes. Stepkids? They ever call you a junkie? It just makes you think, you know, life is so fucking short. Ligodone has a low incidence of addiction if used correctly. Come on. How do I get off this perfectly safe, non-addictive drug? <sighs> very, very slowly. The repository of the hopes and dreams of an empire, so I'm... Happy you're thinking of the future. It is happening. <laughs> oh, things are moving fast here and things are happening for me and I really need that building to come down. Because I fucking asked you to. Because I'm the Usher Ascendant. Yes, I will be there. I want to see that building come down. Okay? My whole life, you know? It won't take me seriously. And then suddenly, you're the new CEO. <laughs> you know one thing Dad was really big about? Oh, no. If you want to test a bond, you don't really need to break it. You just crack it a little. Second lesson Dad was big on was getting your house in order. But if you don't want to be consistently cruel, then you have to be sufficiently brutal at least once. Your fucking smile. I don't want to be consistently cruel. That's not me. I won't break our bond. You already cracked it. So I just gotta put our house back in order. Let's do this once. Let's do it fast. I've gotta go. While I'm there, I'll look for your ring. Maybe it's still there. If not, I'll get you a new one. And if you ever take it off again, I'll weld it to your fucking finger. Oh. Yeah, you good? Don't you fucking say that to me, Vinny. I'm gonna come over there, and I'm gonna pull out your fucking teeth with a pair of pliers. I found this place. It's fantastic. Best in the country for burn treatment. You don't care. Plus, I talked to one of the doctors. They said they could take her. Why the fuck would you do that? She'd be better off someplace else. Lenora, we've talked about this. Everyone you promised would when be here. When you were here. in school, they come here a lot of the time. But she is fine. I don't believe you. Do you know who you're talking to? Mom is not okay. You are not okay. None of this is okay. Stop fucking talking! If anybody spoke to me like this, there would be repercussions. You do not get a free pass because you are my daughter. I want to talk to her specialist. And I will deal with you later when I get back. He's really scary. Ooh, you want to see a villain? They're starting to really bother me. <laughs> you say that's Madeline down there? Pity me. That's Lenore. Bingo. I don't know what you're playing out with me tonight. Why are you dragging this out? Why the cat and mouse? And I know the answer. Because you're getting something out of it. You'll have me on murder. That's where we're going. More than one. 
actually. And here's where I stop in my tracks, slowly return to the chair, sit down, and start the recorder again. We've been here before, you and me, right here. In fact... <sighs> You're trying to scare me. No. That's Freddy. I expect. They've been at me all night. My personal hell is being micromanaged. And then all of a sudden, I spot a little hint. I'm Freddy, but I try to ignore it because you can't see him. And while Catasol is no picnic, it certainly isn't this. No, I'm afraid you're ringside for my reckoning, old friend. And any second, Freddy is going to peek up from behind the chair and show off his C-section hey. scar. <laughs> his C-section? We had to come for your big day. I wanted Freddy to see his daddy be a hero. Just stay stayed at home. Hey! You guys made it. That's insane. I'm going to show you the wall. We're here with you. Here, why don't you come sit with me? Let him get to it. You got this? Yeah. I got this. I'd like you to have a look at exhibits two and three here. You recognize that document? Objection. She's going to do that all day, just getting it on the record. <laughs> I do, since my promotion. And what purpose does the form serve? Objection. It, it's an agreement between the patient, the provider, and the company. Anything strike you as unusual about that document? Objection. <laughs> no, it's pretty standard boilerplate. It's unfortunate we couldn't get a family member to sign along with the patient given their age. Have you ever signed as a witness on a CFC? Yes, I have. And is this your signature? How about this one? Yep. That too, that's mine. Yes. Objection. He's your witness, Pam. Mr. Usher. Why is he doing that? Mr. Usher did Rufus Griswold at any time exert any pressure on you. Has he spoken to you at all about today's deposition? Not at all. Mr. Usher, I will remind you you were under oath. You mean they wouldn't leave us alone? He stopped at my home on multiple occasions pressing this issue. He would do me the kindness of letting my family be in peace. Mr. Dupin has for Rufus Griswold borders on harassment. That's what I came here to say. What's happening? No, don't say anything. What, what are they don't doing? Don't say anything. The husband's under arrest for perjury. Roger, don't say a word. Not another word. Not here. I will meet you at home. What the fuck? You knew this was going to happen? Of course. My husband is in jail. Most important employee of that company. They will have him out before you can blink. He starts with perjury. And that won't stick either. Fuck is wrong with you. Wow. Roderick was going to do the right thing. He was going to be a hero. A single witness. His whole case is just a handful of stolen documents. He will fold. One name on the mind of every board member, investor, and executive at Fortunato. Roderick Usher. He is a fucking hero. You would have been on unemployment tomorrow if you'd done it your way, and Fortunato would have sued you into a fucking crater. I figured you just played the housewife so you could keep a roof over your head. Never have to work a day in your life, and I thought, good for her, she found her angle, but this is really you. Oh, she is Isn't evil. It? I thought you only existed in the movies. You are so evil. Small. <laughs> your baby's crying. You did. All right, I know you're here. Can you sound bell? These aren't for us technically, they're for the boys later on, but I don't think they'll mind. He's been coming here a lot over the last few weeks. Not sure he even knows why. He just sits here and he drinks and he cries sometimes. It really is you. It's amazing how much I do not. But it is you. Somehow I knew you'd be here. Well, I left you the address. Don't pat yourself too hard in the back. Uh -huh. I want to ask you to stop. Come on, ask me. That isn't you. I want to renegotiate. You can't. Why not? The ink is dry. For him or for me? What new terms? And I shall have new terms. Or have you forgotten what I am? There she is. There's my Cleopatra. We can sort this. Woman to woman. I'm not a woman. What, wait, hold on. What's going on? There are certain things one shouldn't have to face in life. Time enough for self-reflection after. I know who you are. And were. And who you could have been. And together, they break my heart. I know who you are, Madeline. You're one of my favorites. You find a locked door, you pry it open. 
This is insane. I'm talking about getting clean. Don't be stupid. Imagine what that would look like if you try to get off it. You can expect mood changes and sleep changes and physical changes, reduced appetite, dilated pupils, blurry vision, shivering. You can't sleep. So exhausted that you can't relax. Basically, the closest analogy I can think of is a fish being pulled out of water, only at least the fish gets to die. It should be right as rain in three agonizing years. What the fuck have you done? Oh. You're a monster, you know that? I'm Victor Frankenstein. You're, You're a my monster. Creature. What was left of you after that accident was a corpse. And Ligodone was the lightning. I threw the switch. You sat up and look. I thought that you loved me. You are a miracle. You know, a huge part of you is Ligodone. How could I not marry you? I can do three years. I've made mistakes. That's what I thought you saw in me. So I will take three years of hell over a lifetime with you. You, your brother and I, we share something. I recognized it the moment I laid eyes on you. Pain. Oh. I can't take that pain from you. Okay. But I can give you something for it. Death. And it's not a drug. Tonight. Clarity. Ooh. No strings. Your brother, you know what he would have been? A poet. Language in its highest expression is musical. What's a poem after all, if not a Safe space for a difficult truth. I call it the city in the sea. City in the sea. Death has reared himself a throne. Uh -oh. In a strange city. Lying alone. No rays from the holy heaven come down on the long nighttime of that town. Dreams up the turret silently. Up domes, up spires, up kingly hall. Resignedly beneath the sky. The melancholy waters lie. The waves have now a redder glow. The hours are Breathing hell rising from a thousand thrones shall do it reverend. I thought you were offering clarity. <laughs> See, isn't it amazing what you can accomplish when you pull your head out of your ass? No, let me have your radio. I need five minutes inside. I have to do something. Oh, come on, man. Then I'll give you an all clear signal and you can do whatever you do. Okay? Fuck's sake. Have a little patience. You should have died here, honey. We're gonna meet you an honest woman. Prospero, my brother. One last thing to say to you. What the fuck? Oh, honey. This is embarrassing. At least, close your pants. That's the nightshade paralytic. You got a little carried away back there. The flyers got me thinking. Fuck it. Oh. Yeah, you good? More. 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 Don't you fucking say that to me, Vinny. That ball is gonna swing at 8 p.m. tonight. That building is coming down. Are you clear? The fuck did I say? Swing it. A dentist. That's the funniest part. That's what you were gonna be in the other life. That made what you did feel worse somehow. You've been scared your whole life. And now you get to put that down. I'm finally, finally here. To see this. Oh, oh, this vantage point. Oh my god. That's not good. I could have done this just about any way I wanted to. But then you had to bring her home. And you had to grab the pliers. I'm gonna head out. I've got an appointment with your dad. You only ever wanted to be loved by him ever wanted his approval. And it's still no fucking excuse. Freddy's dead. That means there's just us left. You remember the deal. You remember the terms. Into the world together, out of the world together, or there is no deal. That's what she said. What? I love you. More than anyone in the world. Now I need you to be a hero again. I need you to be my brother. These are the 80s. Make it down 80 now. And here's the thing. Once you start, you can't stop. You're, you have a pressure on job. And you'll just, you just go to sleep. I have run it all down. Every possible scenario. This 
is the only one. This is it. Go ahead. You can do it. You're saving us all. There's nothing else to save. You are saving us all. He's dead? This was super dark. Hello again, handsome. Well, well, okay, let me be really honest with you guys. This episode was a 10 out of 10. This episode blew all the other episodes for me out of the water. The water isn't even close for me to jump out of the water to actually tell you how far I just jumped out of the water to let you guys know how deep I was in the water before I jumped out of the water. This episode was insane. Okay, I want you to understand what I am feeling at this moment. I am shocked. I am appalled. So I have to say the son who died in this episode was dreadful. He was literally the worst child out of all of them. My personal opinion. What he did to his wife, it just relentless. I'm trying to think what the other words, all the other ones. Okay, the first guy, he, I don't know what he did wrong at this moment. I can't remember. And I have not a migraine. So, I don't remember what he did wrong. Then the other brother was like a drug addict, but he didn't really hurt anybody besides himself because he's a drug addict. Oh, and then the sister was, we're not going to go through all these people, but the sister, the blonde hair, maybe we will. The sister, the blonde hair one who died by the monkey, she was just like nasty and she was just, so she, and she died, when she died, I was like, oh damn, she's my favorite actually. But, you know, then the other sister who died with the glass, she wasn't that bad either. She was just like a narcissist and kind of like freaky. But this one, this one was bad. This one was really bad. And they try to show us how the child, how the child just wanted to be loved and how he grew up grew up to be but to tell you the truth we didn't know how bad he was until his he assumed his wife was cheating on him then we started to see how bad he was i mean he had his little tip to the task with the other ones oh and the black the black oh okay so he's bad and the second worst i think was the black lady she was pretty bad what she was doing um to the animals and also what she was planning to do to somebody who she just met and lied to and what she did to her her girlfriend or wife she was pretty bad as well um but this guy and then you saw the daughter finally saved the mother and you let me know that this lady's death death actually intervened because how horrible he was to the, his wife and torturing this lady the pictures all over the room he literally was relentless I don't understand the pact between his sister, the the main guy, and his sister, and Death. I don't understand what the pack is. I don't understand what she was saying in her rhyme, her riddle to the rhymes of rhymes of riddles. But I did love that riddle to the rhymes of rhymes of riddles. Her poem was, I was like, yes, keep going, girl. I love this. Um, I wanted to be like, you know what? So you go to, you ever went to been to a poetry night and then a person would say like a line and people would be like. That's what I was giving. Um, and I really did enjoy it. So then I was like, why did the sister even have a piece on her head? She just took it right off. Um, <laughs> that was interesting. Regardless, I loved this episode. So it seemed like the brother died, but now death brought the brother back. So she's like death 95% of the time, but she just became life in this 5%. So she brought him back to torture him some more. And that's where, why he's talking to that attorney. I can't believe he did that to the attorney. By the way, I have to say something. And I always, and I don't know who's gonna hate me after this sentence. Um, so sorry. But it's completely my opinion. And I don't know who else agrees with me. But the younger lawyer, the younger black lawyer, I'm really not a fan of his acting. I don't know what it is. Like, he's, he's he's actually a really good actor. This episode, he was giving those lines, y'all. And the facial expressions, he was really... I think it's his voice. 
and how he delivers the lines. Because I seen him in Reacher, which I thought film, and I'm not a fan of him there either. So it's definitely him. It's not the character. Um, and I don't know why I just he just kind of bothers me. But it, but out of just the way he delivers lines, he's actually a pretty good actor. The facial expressions, the emotion that he actually brings to each line to make you feel it, phenomenal. It's just, he's just not my favorite. I actually love Death. I think Death is my favorite actor. The father of the Fortunato, the, the main guy, he's amazing, as well as his sister, the older and younger. Even the younger uh, Fortunato guy, he's a great actor. I think I love everybody in this show, minus the black guy, the younger black guy, because the older black guy I like. Somebody right now is typing ferociously. Get the names. Stop saying the black guy. Okay, well, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I watched some of the shows. I don't know what else to say. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I actually, <laughs> what's crazy is I don't even know <laughs> the main guy's name. I don't actually know anybody's name at this moment. moment. I know Madeline or Madeline, and I don't know who that is. Uh, <laughs> somebody's unsubscribing right now. But I really did enjoy this. I love the characters. It was giving, giving, giving. God, it was just amazing. We have, what, one more episode to go? We have one more episode to go, and we're wrapping it up. So we have, like, the sisters down in the basement, plus somebody else is somewhere else in this house with the guy talking. And this is the first episode I actually liked when the older black guy and the Fortunato dude, they were talking. A lot of their bantering back and forth before we go into them being young in pastime, a lot of their banter since we met them, for me, I get, I start snoring. I start snoring, I'm like, ugh, here we go with the banter. Like, in my head, I say it. I try to pay attention as much as I can, but because maybe I am always was always lost in the source, I kind of like, was like, okay, let's get to somewhere else. But this one, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed their going back and forth. Their banter was making sense. It just was amazing. Also, I can't believe the Fortunato guy did that to his wife. He screwed over everybody. He was, he, that was some cold, heartless shit. Now, besides him doing that cold, heartless shit, and him, okay, he's pretty bad too. I'm like, what else did he do? He drug, he's been drugging his wife, knowing he's drugging his wife, and she can't even get off of the fuck, the freaking stuff, because if she does, she's gonna die. She's gonna die. Him giving all them side effects, the point of the moral, the story is, girl, you're gonna die. Even when you try to wean yourself off, it's a possibility you're gonna die. You know Amy Winehouse died um, trying to become sober. A lot of people do, which is dreadful. Regardless, I'm giving this episode a 10. I loved it. It was giving me life, liberty, and justice, and I just want more. Now, if you guys would like to support this channel for free, you know what to do. Hit that like button, share, and don't forget to comment down below. Hit the notification bell so you know when to drop all of my reactions. Also, just so you guys know, I will be doing a 2024 um, Smash or Pass a live reaction. It seems like I'm about to announce it's going to be The Mask. The Mask has been moving. It's been about four days of this poll. Um, so The Mask is here, y'all. The Mask is here. It's looking like it's going to be that live premiere which there I will be able to hit the gift, whatever, and it will gift memberships to people in the chat, in the live premiere. But I do not choose the people YouTube does. It does it's an automatic system. So how do you get this um, gift membership? You have to be interactive with the channel. Please hit the like button, sharing, commenting, going into the other videos, into the posts, and just commenting, sharing, and liking. I promise you will do wonders. It will. That's the only way that YouTube will choose um, the the memberships. I believe it is going to be for the first month free, and I believe it's the first tier. With the first tier, I do um, the first uh, episodes and last episodes of all my shows for everybody on the platform. I also have exclusive content. We are watching uh, Bodyguard and as well what we do in the shadows. So you'll be able to see that as well as sometimes I drop movie reactions, full reactions for the entire platform for the, for the members um, over here here on YouTube. So please uh, try to be interactive with these um, 
with this platform, not just for the memberships, just because I love you and I want to see you guys here and alive and well and, and interactive with the platform. Um, I do this for you. I do this for you. I do this for my aunt, rest in peace. And I do it for me as well, um, because I love doing this. I love bringing you guys content. So please, 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 um, let's see you guys interact and get those free memberships. Now I'm off this, I gotta edit this very long movie. And, or a TV show, it's equivalent to a movie. I will see you all next time with the final episode of The Fall of the House of Ushers. And now, uh, that's all I gotta say. Bye.